Please say United States. United States. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $12.77. This call will cost $0.21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my gorgeous soulmate. Hi. I love you. I love you. What are you doing, gorgeous? No, it's just a baby. Who is that? That's me. Oh, she talked to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said, that's not cool, Mommy. The lights are flickering. What's the matter? The wind outside, I think it's Huh? Hey. Yeah, hello? What happened? Oh, the light's flickering. Your guys okay? Yeah. I think it's because of the wind outside, so it's so windy. You got the heater on 80? Mm-hmm, the heater's on. Well, <clears throat> tell Mama I said put the heater on 83. Do you hear me, baby? Hello? Babe, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? If you're cutting hey. it out, I can't hear shit, babe. That's why I'm, I'm like, know. yelling in the phone saying hello. Like, I'm not yelling at you, but, it's like, either you're covering the phone up or the signal's going bad. No, I think it's the signal. I said, go tell my mother to put the heater on 83. I already did. Okay. I didn't know if you heard me. Yeah, I heard you. Where y'all at, upstairs? Yeah, put it at 83. Downstairs. <coughs> Where's everybody else at? Upstairs. Already sleeping. Oh, so it's just you and Mama are downstairs? Yeah, we're about getting ready to go upstairs here in a minute. Do you know this fucking jail is so packed they ain't got no more room for nobody else? No. Well, I got my inspection on the 20th. Of November? Yeah. Even though the fucking lease wasn't signed until July? Yeah. So, like, is that a bad thing or what, beautiful? I don't know. I got to get that stuff this week to patch up the holes and stuff around here. Which holes need patched up again? The one in the boys' room. Outside, little, that one little spot in the hallway. And then got a few little ones down here in the playroom. And then the one in the, like, the hallway right there, too. But I could cover that up with pictures or something. Well, that's what I was thinking, too, for the one in the boys' room. You know what I mean? Just, uh, like, get a, a picture or something, a couple of pictures, you know what I mean? Or even, like, a like a blanket, you know, a blanket with a design or something on it for them. I mean, coloring pictures, which we had before, but at the same time, remember, Right there by the closet, they got that bigger one. Not inside the closet, but on the outside. Yeah, that's the one you're talking about, though, right? Mm-hmm. Because I say fuck that. I mean, 
to be honest with you, that's that's fucking maintenance's job. Like, they need to get the fuck over there and start doing their damn job. I mean, but, you know, I'd rather, you know, like, get that done. So that way, you know, and then they're going to have to come and fix that thingy up there in the kitchen, the, up the ceiling. Where they ripped a hole in it or something? No, the thingy, I guess they had patched it up before, and it's coming down. It just happened the other day. Yeah, I remember you telling me. And they haven't been back there since. Uh uh-uh. uh. So you're going to have to, like, this is fucking bullshit, man. Like, this is where I hate myself. Like, this is where I'm mad as fuck. Like, I, I, I swear to God, I like to fucking step on Kathy's throat. Like, I'm not playing, babe. Like, I hate that woman. Like, straight the fuck up. I hate that woman. Like, she ain't even well, a fucking I woman. Just, I hate that hoe. Then I messaged Angel and told him, you know, if he can, you know, at least come over this weekend or sometime next week, because I'm going to need him, you know, his, his some of his help for some few things because of the inspection on the 20th. And he was like, well, if I'm not working, I'll let you know. Well, then just tell him to stay the fuck away. Like, for real. Like, he's pissing me the fuck off. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, I'm getting tired of us always fucking helping people. And, and when it comes time, we ask for a little fucking favor or a little fucking help. They, they act like they're too goddamn good. Like, I know that's our son and all, but I'm getting tired of his ass. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Every fucking time, man. Like, this is bullshit. Fucking, he, he ain't doing shit anyhow. He ain't working. The piece of shit ain't doing shit but living off everybody else. Right. It's fucking ridiculous, man. This fucking stupid ass judge. Like, I'll find something out tomorrow. I'm going to fill a uh, request form out and tell him I want my docket tomorrow. So I should have it tomorrow. And. It'll say on my docket if it's denied, or it'll say on my docket if I have a court date. And I'm praying this stupid-ass fucking judge gives me a court date. We just got five more people in this pod, my pod, and we're full to the max. West pod is full to the max. North and south, full to the max. SEG, SEG orientation, full to the max. Yeah. So it's like, they're going to have to start letting people out of here. Like, what the fuck? And hopefully my dumb ass is one of the ones they fucking let out of here. Oh, son. What's the matter, beautiful? You sound like you're, you're losing hope. No, just worried about the inspection now. Now it's got something else over my head. This inspection and how I'm going to get everything cleaned up, done, and... Well, you tell Angel, like, I'm dead ass serious, please, for me. You tell Angel, if he ain't fucking there to help you next week, I said for him to stay the fuck away for a while. Period. You don't need him. If he's going to keep coming over and fucking mooching off of us and sit here acting like this and acting like that and all he wants is money, he can stay the fuck away, for real. He ain't doing shit but hurting us. He ain't been no fucking help at all. Period. Mm No. You can't even, I mean, to be honest, can't even sit here and say he was a help last year when I was in fucking Florida. Because she took him, that fucking little bopper bitch in, and their baby. Like, where was the help at? He wasn't patching up holes or shit, it was you. You and Marmar and the kids coloring pictures and fucking getting the house clean. He don't do a goddamn thing. It's just fucking crazy, man. I'm sorry, beautiful. Like, I'm, I know you get tired of me saying I'm sorry, but, like, I, I, if I was home, the shit would be... No, you get tired of me saying, yeah, if Dad was here, Dad would help me, but he's not here. And that's why I'm asking you. So. What did he say? I, I, that's what I told him. I said, if Dad was here, he would help me. But since he's not here, that's why I was asking him. If I was there, you wouldn't need to be doing nothing. I would be doing it all. I mean, yeah, my babe would be helping me. My soulmate would be helping me. But come on, babe. You know damn well I do all the manly work around that house. I do my best to make sure you don't got to do shit. And the least he could fucking do if the, all the shit we done did for him, all the shit you done did for him, 
least he can fucking do is, all right, Mom, here. I'm here. Even if you can't come spend the fucking night. All right, Mom, I'm here. It's fucking noon. You know, I'll help you for nine hours straight or eight hours straight or seven hours straight. Mom, you got the stuff? Let's go ahead and knock this shit out. It ain't going to take fucking three, four days to do it. It would take one day. That was it. Not even a whole day. A half a day for that right. motherfucker to come over and pack some holes up. And fuck, half of the holes are from him. Mm-hmm. Stupid motherfucker. Like, I'm sorry for yelling in your ear. Like, I'm sorry, beautiful. Like, but I'm fucking pissed off now. Fucking sorry, motherfucker. And I'm not playing. I'm not playing. When I get the fuck out of here and go home, there is going to be no more of him just popping up at the house. If he ain't calling before he comes the fuck over, I'm not answering the door. I'm dead ass serious. I put that on my mom and dad, and my, or my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my dad. I'm dead ass serious. I'm my papa cart and my nanny. I'm not having people just popping up at our house no more. If you ain't calling before you come over, you ain't fucking getting in. Period. Shit's fucking retarded, man. I'm tired of us always fucking doing for other people, and nobody wants to fucking be there for us. I'm sick of that shit. We got rid of fucking Chris Anna for that dumb shit. I got no problem getting rid of fucking him, too. It's fucking crazy, man. And it, 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 it pisses me even more off. Because I can, it ain't like I can sit here and say, well, text Presley and see if Presley come over. His fucking faggot ass don't know what the fuck to do either. He's like Scotty. They don't know how to fucking build nothing. Stupid motherfuckers got one in the Air Force that don't know his ass from a hole in the ground, but he can call everybody and spend money, but can't sit here and look out for me and you, and me and you, the ones that would actually do the goddamn job right. But, I mean, even if I could get, what is it, the joint compound? Yeah. That's what covers it, right? Even if I can get that, I'll do this shit myself. No, I, I know, beautiful, but it's, it's I mean, like... I mean, I don't know how to do it, but I'll, I'll try my best to do what I can. It, 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 it's not hard at all, beautiful. I can walk you through everything. Like, you get the stuff, I'll be on the phone. I, can, I mean, I can tell you everything you do. I don't want you to get the little one because you're going to spend a lot of I'm money. Huh? But then again, I'd say I was going to get the big one. Yeah. But then again, what I was thinking was the other the other person who patched it up, remember the one last year, used the powder. Yeah. But see, when you use the powder, that's how dumb they are. The powder stuff, they're just like, oh, my God, these motherfucking maintenance people don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. If you use the powder and you got to mix it up with the water, it's it's kind of like, you know how you make dough? You got to put the flour and the water in there and keep it going and mix it up so you get it the way you want it. That's how that shit is. If you get the shit that's already pre-made at, like, Lowe's or Home Depot or something beautiful, it's it's a hell of a lot easier. Then, do you remember the, you, do you remember the little tool that, you know, that it's the metal little thing? Huh? The little, uh, like, the scraper? Yes, yes, exactly. You want to get the big one, beautiful. You don't want to get the little one, okay? You can get the little one from the little holes. You know what I'm saying? But if you get the big-looking scraper thing, the big one, okay, all you do is stick it in the bucket. You get maybe, you know, like the uh, size of your finger. You know what I'm saying? You put about that much on top of the fucking – what I mean by the size of your finger is if you got the big one and you stick your finger on top of the edge of it and, you know, you see how far your finger runs down the uh, scraper itself, you put that much mm-hmm. plaster on there, and you stick it right above the hole, okay, at least maybe an inch or two above the hole, and then you just slide the scraper down. And then it'll fill in all the cracks in the holes by itself. Okay. And you, you keep doing that until you get a nice, good layer over the entire hole, okay? And then once you've got a nice, good layer over the hole, you let it dry for about an hour or two, however long it takes to dry. Once it dries... You go right back over it again with another layer, and then once it hardens, it's like a brand new wall. Mm. Okay. But the powder stuff, you do not want to get it beautiful because it takes forever for you to mix it up, and then if you got it too watery, it has, you have to add more powder and shit like that. You want to get no third party calls are allowed. You still there? Why does it say that? I don't know. I hate that. The, why, no third party. No, no, no third party allowed. Nobody's making no third party. Exactly. Exactly. Baby, guess how much I want on the poker table today? 
Five dollars. <laughs> um, your receipt thing came in stating that both your things were in progress. And it was just letting me know that you have one minute left. Your uh, packages will be like on its way. I got oh, so it confirmed that you, that you did order it and it confirmed that it went through? Yeah. yeah. And that that means confirmed. I'll get them tomorrow. Yep, that means I'll get it tomorrow. Yes, good shit. I'm about to call you right back, beautiful, because said we have one minute left, okay? So I'm about to call you right right back right now. All right, love you. Uh, all right, I love you too, sexy. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Love you. Mwah. Love you. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Miss you and the kids. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you and the kids. Thank you. You have eleven dollars and seventy six cents. This call will cost twenty one cents per minute plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my gorgeous soulmate. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, what? Well, I just seen that 20 on there. That's why I was like, oh, my baby. You sure that was for me? It said your name. Oh, did it now? Yes, ma'am, it did. Hey, I couldn't even play it off like somebody else did it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> well, just like every time, like every time you and Auntie Cocker are put money, it tells me the name of the person who put it on there. Oh. They said, oh, no, I didn't. You sure? I'm, yes, Miss Rodriguez, I know my baby's okay, name. But you Love said you know my name, so I was like, oh, shit. I thought uh-huh. it was just going to show up and up on there. <laughs> no, that shows the names, baby. Because mm-hmm. I was chirping you earlier, and then I was like, man, something tell me to go check the fucking phone. So I go check the phone, and I was like, wait a minute, how the fuck did I get $39? So I was like, let me check transaction history. So I was just scrolling down, and I was like, oh, babe, that's my baby. Let me go check the uh, transaction. Yeah, you would have, I would have been able to doubt you if you didn't sit there and say you checked the transaction. If I wouldn't have checked it? Uh-huh. Well, they give you the option on the kiosk to check and see who sends you money. <laughs> But it's not like you're not doing without, babe. You're okay? I still had the money on there for the diapers. I just got $11 added today, so I just said, fuck it. I got enough to fill the diapers. Oh, I love you, Sexy. I love you, my Sexy asshole, mate. If I got it, you got it, too. I know, Sexy. Just how I like I am at home. I thought I was just bragging to my buddy. Me and him cool as fuck. Like <clears throat> he looks out for me, I look out for him, you know what I mean? And uh he's like, Damn Rodriguez, you cool as fuck, bro. Like we gotta kick it when we get out. I was like, Yeah, no doubt, bro. I said, All I do, bro, I said you ask anybody, I said, I'll tell you right now to your face. If you're asking me to go to your house and drink or if you're asking me to go out and kick it at the bar, the clubs, anything, bro, I said the answer's always gonna be no. He was like, for real, bro? He was like, that's all I do, bro. I sit at home with my wife and kids, bro. I'm a family man. I said, I know, bro. I said, I ain't calling you a liar. You know, most people say the same thing. I said, but I'm telling you, real talk, man. It's me, my wife, and my kids. I don't go nowhere. I said, my brother came in from Pakistan. Thought he could just show up talk about, let's go to the bar. Let's go play basketball. I said, the nigga got told no. Like, nigga, it's me and my wife and my kids, period. That's my best friend. That's, that's all there is to it. 
He was like, oh, that, that's what's up, my nigga, that's what's up. He was like, but what if I invite y'all over for a barbecue? I said, my nigga, if you got a ride, you have to come pick us up. We ain't got a ride right now. I said, but I don't think we would mind going, you know, family, family, getting together, having a cook. And I said, or we can meet up at the lake. You know, I like taking my kids to the park. Me and my wife go to the lake. We cook out or we barbecue or, you know, we pack lunches. And I was telling them, like, you know I mean? We teach our kids you don't need money to have fun. You know, you can have fun doing anything. And that nigga was like, man, that's what's up. You solid as fuck, bro. He was like, oh, we definitely got to kick it. I said, all right, bro. I mean, I ain't got no problem giving someone a chance. Like, you seem cool as fuck, too. Every time I needed the soup, you know what I mean? I would never ask him, but he'd be like, hey, Rodriguez, come on. Here, I got you where your bowl at. I'm going to give you half of this. You know what I mean? That's why I was like, man, I, that's how me and my wife are. We take care of those who help us, but we don't like asking for help. He was like, well, I'll feel you, bro. I'm the same way. Mwah. Mm-hmm. So you'll be hearing all my chirps when I be kissing the phone and stuff for you? I never get no kiss from there, but yeah, I hear all the other chirps. Really? You don't be hearing the kisses? Because when I chirped you earlier, I said everything I said, and I said, Mwah, and then it said, thank you, right after I did that. So I figured you got the the, you know, the kiss sound, too. Yeah. All I get is the, um, I love you, my sexy soulmate, or, you know, my sexy wife, or, but it doesn't say nothing else after that. Oh, so you don't hear, I love you, my gorgeous soulmate, I miss you and the kids? Uh-uh. Oh, so, so all you hear is, I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Right. So I don't know if it's, you know, part of the timing or whatever that you have to put it on yet? Well, I, what it was is, uh... When I when I did the uh, thing, I didn't say my name like most of the dudes say. You know, say they say their name. I didn't do that. I I knew. You know, what I mean, it, like I did in Florida. Remember how I did it in Florida? And I called. You would hear the chirp. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But so that's all you hear is I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Mhm. Okay. Well, at least you get to hear that. That's that's good enough for me. And when when you hear the ones that say United States, it just says the United States after that. You don't hear I love you? Mm-mm. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So now I know. Because I'll be over there like this. exactly how it be like, please say your name. And I'll be like, I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you in the kids. Mwah. And that's how I say it. That's how fast <laughs> I say it. And then when it says, please say United States, and I'll be like, United States. I love you, my sexy wife. Like, <laughs> people be looking at me like this thing. Huh? That's a hell no. <laughs> oh, get this shit. Guess what Mick did today, babe? That one dude, oh. Tina's husband or whatever, guess what he did today? Made me yeah. mad as fuck. I'm sitting over there playing poker, and I already won. I won like three bucks. I got two more envelopes so I didn't have to order on the kiosk. And I still got uh, $2 of chips. I don't owe nobody no money, so don't think nothing, you know. But I'm sitting there playing poker, and the fucking deputy yells, and he was like, Rodriguez. And I looked at everybody at the table like, what the fuck? They were like, you Rodriguez? I'm like, yeah. They were like, come here. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And everybody at the poker table was like, ooh. I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, you know what I mean? And I get there. And uh, he was like, hey, you know a Mick next door, Matt Mick? I'm like, yeah. Well, here, he told me to get this to you. And it was like a little note. And it had an out-of-state number for his attorney. And it wasn't even an attorney, babe. I think it was his girl's out-of-state number. You know what I mean? And the note said, Mom. hey. Huh? Oh, no. Go ahead. I'm listening. I got to do a copy. Hold on. Hello. Yeah, I'm here, bitch. But uh, the deputy was like, "Yeah, Matt told me, uh, Mick told me to tell you this is an out of state number for you to call this number and tell his lawyer to come up here and see him now, so he can get out of jail." I was like, "What?" He was like, "Well, Mick told me to tell you this is an out of state number for you to call. It'll only cost you twenty one cents a minute, and tell his lawyer to come up and see him." I looked at the note and looked at the deputy. I said, you to to? I mean, huh? to? Yes. Who? That's Matt? Yes. 
that one person told me to tell you, come on, told me to tell you to tell him he's an idiot. He's an idiot? Yeah. All right. All right. I'll tell him. I don't, I don't know why, but that was just something. The when thing? did they text you today? No, this I didn't notice it, but it was a while ago. Okay. I guess the same day that um that I was texting. Mhm. But I never got back to it. And I guess he said for you to relate the message that he can send it. Yeah, she's fucking around on him. She's got another dude out there because she's stuck on heroin and shit. You know what I mean? And while he's in here, she ain't got no way to buy her. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah. But I, it just made me laugh. I'm like, wait a minute. This nigga's over here trying to have, like, tell me I have to call this thing. I was like, tell that nigga I ain't got no money for him. No phone time for him. This shit is my shit. Right. But I ain't playing. If they end up taking me over to West Pond, I'm going to check that nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck's your problem? You think I'm your bitch or something? I got to do what the fuck you tell me to, my nigga? Well, why did he give you a long distance number? Because he said it on the note. He said it was his lawyer's number. And for me to call his lawyer and tell his lawyer to come up here and get him out of jail. And I was like, I looked at the deputy and gave the note back. I was like, tell that nigga I ain't got no phone time for him. All the phone time I got is for me and my wife and kids. I'm not calling that number. And the deputy was like, you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. So he walked over and gave the note back to me. I didn't call shit for that nigga. I ain't going to. I ain't nobody's bitch. Right. Um, Mar, I'm going right up to the corner to take Tati. What well, come on, because I ain't got a date. Today's not Friday. Yeah, but she's got her eye doctor for me tomorrow. The one that he had, he had arranged. I guess it's in the morning. That's a lie. So she better have some glasses then. Right. That's what I said. Do you take a butt butt with you? Yeah, he's coming up. So he's and, uh, and hurry up. If I was you, beautiful, I would tell him, hey, I need the paperwork too because just in case you're lying, I have a doctor's appointment for her. Right. No, I already told him I have a doctor's appointment for her. Which we already do, but just in case, you know, if he tries to sit there and use that against me or something. Right, right, right. He already had one. Come on, Bubba. You know they're going to try talking, right? He's he going to try talking to you. Well, I don't got all day. Right, what, time, what time did you uh, tell him you would do that? Got that. I got food on the stove. You got what, baby? I got food on the stove. Oh. Well, is he already up there? I wouldn't leave until he's up there. Well, I just got the text saying that he was pulling in. Oh, okay, okay. And then, you know, with the food on the stove, I'm not about to sit there and be, you know, kill time and then my food burn on the stove. Right. Well, I know you. You'll put everything out low. You got this, beautiful. I love you, my sexy soulmate. I love you. Are you wanting to stay on the phone with me until you go up there? You want me to call you back when you get back, or what? It don't matter. I'm already out the door. Come on. Where is your sweater? Oh, this kid. Who? My buddy's goofy ass? Tell him he better start fucking listening or I'm going to beat his ass. This shit's stupid. He knows to have a fucking jacket on. It's getting down to 29 degrees tonight. That's okay. They'll see. They'll see when I get home. Mark my fucking words. I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello? 
Yeah, that's him calling me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love you. So what'd you do? You have to tell him you got a new number or something? No. Didn't ask him. No, but you had to if he's got Marmar's number. Because remember, he had my number. He does not tell his number. I know, but what I'm saying is, beautiful, you had to have told him that you got a new phone number because, remember, he thought my number was your number. No. Give me a kiss. That's right. Hello? Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> so what, you told him you had got a new number or something or that phone had broke? No, he didn't even ask. He just, just accepted that number. He didn't ask, even ask if it was You have yet. one minute left. Well, but you're misunderstanding what I'm saying, though, beautiful. Remember, he had my phone number. He thought I my know. phone number. Talking about, but he did not add. Oh. Oh no, I couldn't really hear you when you, when you were explaining because of the wind and shit, babe. That's all. I love you. It just said we have one minute left, so you guys eat dinner, and I'll call you back about nine thirty again, okay? All right, love you. I love you, my sexy soulmate. Thank you for everything, beautiful. I love you too, my sexy soulmate. I'll see you here in a bit. Give my me a diamond kiss for me. Tell the kids I love and miss them, please. I will. All right. I love you, gorgeous. I love you. No. Let's go. I love you, my sexy soulmate. Let me see my sexy soulmate. <laughs> Talk to you in a little bit, beautiful. I love you. Love you, too. Bye, beautiful. Thank you for using Secura. Love you. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have three dollars and six cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Good morning, my sexy soulmate. Good morning, my sexy soulmate. You okay? Yeah. What's the matter? No. Liar, liar, pencil fire, what's the matter? Nothing. That's a peanut. We got 306 at the beginning of this call. <sighs> I love you. Can I just sleep? Couldn't sleep. No. Mm-hmm. You? I'm tossed and tired, like always. Can't wait. Yep. My fucking neck is killing me, so is my back. Mm. Got off lockdown at 8 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to try and hustle up another phone call between now and then so I can talk to you later tonight before bed. Good night. Mm. Mm. All I did was keep reading your guys' yeah. letters. The what? I kept reading your letters. Oh, I'm at it. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. 
That shit driving me crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit's really, really yeah, getting yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm hating it myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know I'm hating it myself. Too. It just seems like days are going by slower and slower, and it's like, what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, 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 me. No, talk to you. They're getting on my nerves. What are they doing, Stacey? Thank God. They didn't wake up at no 6.30. 6 o'clock, 6.30. They just woke up about 8.30, 9 o'clock. They just kept pushing your buttons. Huh? Just pushing your buttons. Yeah, especially her sitting there following Boo-Boo, knowing Boo-Boo, he does nothing but get himself in trouble. Then she wants to sit there and follow right behind him. Her dumb ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love you, Sexy. Mm-hmm. I love you. I really wish I knew magic, so I'd go home. Do I ever could ever go home? Daddy. So we all. Yeah. That's so wild. That's so wild. That's so wild. That's so wild. Mommy. Tell her, shut up. Go play. Damn. Like every time we get on the phone, one of them. No, I got her and Boo Boo separated right now. And she feels she's going to sit here and aggravate me since she can't be all up Boo Boo's ass. Oh. What's Mimi doing? Where are you? I mean, she's watching uh, Rapunzel. Y'all watching cartoon? Uh-huh. Watching her Rapunzel. <laughs> I'm real close. Why don't you give your sister a toy? No, when it comes to your little that. sister, you don't, you, you don't help her, but you up boo boo's ass. Right. Got no goofy ass. Well, hopefully you like the little drawings that uh, I've had done for the kids' names that I would get tattooed. I colored them in with some colored pencils because they were just like all done in black and pencil. So I colored them in with colored pencils. You know? Like the way it's sent to you is the way I want to get it done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's the matter, sexy? Mm-hmm. I miss you. I miss you. You know, I'll be chirping you at lunchtime and at dinner time, and then at 8 o'clock I'll be chirping you too. But I'm going to try and hustle up the no, phone. If something, if something comes today, I'll load it on. Um, besides that, i got to pick up a few things for the inspection. But oh, i got to grab... I gotta get the battery stuff for the for the alarm thing. Cause you know that's a twenty four hour emergency. So if the batteries and they don't work, they'll be out here the next day. Just right, that, right. If, you know. Well, they, they, you get the dollar ones. When you only need what? Yeah, two the dollar store. Huh? I said you only need what? Two or three? The one for the basement, the one up here, and the attic. Yeah. No. Okay. There's four. One attic, one on the second floor, right? Mm-hmm. One then downstairs the and living one in the room. area. And the basement. And, yep. Yep. Should I just get all four of them? Yeah. Or should I just see which one works and which one doesn't? Because I don't know if when it aligns if, it, if it's like new or the new one. No, I would get all four of them beautiful. Get down. I'm sorry, you know what I mean? Because it'd be our luck. You go and get right. only two, and then the other two need them, too. And right. I would just get all four of them and be done with it. You saw these fuck angels, dumbass, and they're trying to help you. Like, fucking No, angels. no. And it, it's like, thing, okay, huh? the day that he was supposed to come over, since I didn't have money, he didn't come over. That was usual. Um, 
I'm not stressing him no more. If I got to do it myself, I do it myself. No. I'm not playing. When I get home, he just pops up. I'm not answering the door for him. And when he gets mad, I'm talking about, oh, you're my mom, I'm my mom. I'm like, no, I'm like, but then, he, then just like I told Mariana, his birthday is right around the corner. He's going to think that he's not. he won't come around to the birthday of the first. I'm not doing shit. No, nope. okay. not doing nothing. You, he's got a job, and when I don't, when I don't have the money, and he's and he's working and got the money, does he sit there and say, "Mom, do you need anything? You know, right. anything or check up on me?" No. Yeah, exactly. Even when I told him, you know, it would be nice if you come over once in a while, you know, so that way at least I could, you know, see you, talk to you, and stuff like that. I mean, so that way you know that everything over here is okay. He don't give a fuck. He don't care about nobody but himself. Yep. And that's where I be getting mad. That's why I be jumping on his ass all the time. Like, I'm done helping people. For real, for real. Because every time we help people, we don't get shit in return. And it ain't like we expect. Right. Don't nobody do nothing for us. No. With all me and you. You know what I mean? And me and you got this. Like I said, fuck them. Jenny, too. She always want to fucking try and act like she's there to help somebody, but every time, oh, the van's broke down, or I'm just having so many problems. Right. Like, bitch, keep your stupid ass. I didn't even thing. talk to Jenny. I, I think the last time I seen Jenny, she came and dropped off some, some stuff, but she'd be yelling my name outside the damn uh, thing. She did it one time, and I'm like, I wasn't going to open my door. Well, and that's then, what you uh, need to tell her. She needs to stop that dumb ass shit. So why are you gonna sit there and yell? I mean, don't no, don't don't nobody answer. Just leave it up on the porch. If nobody yeah. answers, you back on it. Leave it on the porch. Yeah, because if you don't say nothing to her, I'm going to when I get home. Mark my words. I will walk my ass over there and tell her, Hey, look, from now on, you come to my house. Don't fucking scream and yell my wife's name. If we ain't answering the door, that means get the fuck away from my house. We don't want to talk to you. Right. She dropped the other she dropped the other boxes and stuff on the porch when she knew Mariana was I mean, when Mariana was here. But then nobody answer the door. She left it up on the porch. You have like, one minute left. Right. Damn, one minute already. Fuck oh, man. Mm-hmm. I love you, sexy. I'm gonna go jump in the shower real quick and then chirp you when I get out, okay? All right, love you. I love you, my sexy soulmate. Just stay strong, okay? They can't keep me forever. They gotta let me out of here soon. I know. I love you. I love you. Me and you to the end. Me and you to the end. No matter what. Yeah, no matter what. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. You are my one and only wife and queen. You hear me? And you are my only and only king. I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's my sexy. Uh, Mimi said, Mwah. <laughs> Thank you for using I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have $6.14. This call will cost... 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from thank you for using Securus, you may start the conversation now. I love you. Hello. I love you. Okay, what did you want me to write down? Okay, the number is 330-604-604. Eight five nine three. Yeah, three three zero six zero four. 
Like I really can't. Like yeah. I, I, I said, I can't believe that motion went through. I really can't. Like my one buddy Jojo that left today, mm -hmm. he put twelve motions in, and Mrs. Kimball finally got him in court today after his twelfth motion, and he went home today. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how. I mean, I worded some of that letter. I just, I don't know. Like, I think I'm gonna have to sit down and try to do it tonight too. To try to finish it. But, no, like I said, you got you got all next week. I don't think they're gonna get me into court next week. Honestly, it might be the last week of November in two weeks, or it might just come in December. I think it'll be in December though. But all I can sit here and say is say it from the heart, beautiful. You know what I mean? That's what I did in the motion. You know what I'm saying? And just pretty much explain to her why, you know what I mean, you want me out, why you need me out. You know what I'm saying? The babies, you about to be, you know, uh, on bed rest, you know, you're high risk. You know what I mean? And shit, tell her, you know, tell her the truth. You'll make sure I, you know what I mean, do what I got to do. <laughs> You'll kick me yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? But not, I mean, not only that, I can sit there and explain. I mean, you haven't, whatever the past is past, you didn't make your past payments. But she recently saw that you attempting to make payments. You even made a $100 payment with it. I mean, before you even, I mean, you was incarcerated, but you already had that made and just sent out before you even got locked up. Well, I, I know, beautiful, but don't, like, I don't know. Cause I'm getting mixed signals from everybody. Everybody's like, you know, if you don't want to like tell her how to do her job and all that other bullshit, just pretty much. I tell mean, her. not only that, but you know, not not tell her how to do her job. I'm just saying, you know, you will. She will notice that you will make your, you know, future payment. Well, I would, you know, what I would say if I was you, just be like, look, I know you're a mom. You know, from from a mom to a mom, you know what I mean. I'll make sure my husband makes his payments. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. You know, just. Play it off that way. Play it off like you'll kiss my ass if I don't. You know what I mean? Because I was reading that uh, docket. It says that I'm going to have to do 20 hours a week community service if I don't get a full-time job. So that's my first priority, whether that means working at Yeah, you already have your resources where you can go. And um, I was talking to Sandy, and she's thinking about quitting. What, over there? Yeah. Because she, her body can't take it no more. And after the holidays, mm -hmm. she has to have a whole knee replacement, yeah. a whole new knee replacement. And you know they already know what's up there. You know right. you can go over there. Yeah, but you I don't know, think twenty hours a week. There, the community center over here. Well, see, my goal would be to get in there at the pantry, do as much as I can yeah. there. And then, you know, if they need me at the church, too. But my, honestly, my number one goal is to get a job, man. Because I don't personally still got that job waiting on me. But if I can get into Burger King, get into Save a Lot, get into Family Dollar, or somewhere close to the house like that, I'll do that. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Until we get right. on our feet, and that way I can, I ain't got to worry about too many service. I can just go ahead and go work, make that money for us. Have right, but you job. know what? So the main thing so you can get in those places. You do your community service, so they can't lock you up because you're not doing nothing. No, of course. Hell yeah, yeah, of course. That's, that's what they're trying to say, they want you to at least be doing something with your time. Right. And what I'll have to do is me working at the pantry and at the church. I have to get a signature, the date, the time, and then, right. you know what I mean, the fax it over to the probation officer. Yeah. The only thing that's going to suck, though, is that fucking that phone call calling every morning. To fucking, you know, do the drug test. Like, that's, I mean, I don't understand if, let's say, let's say I get out on a Monday and I call Tuesday morning and they have me go to a drug test. What, are they going to make me do it every fucking day and I have to go to a drug test, you know, two, three times a week? Like, that makes no sense. Well, you know what? Do what you have to do. If this is what's going to keep your freedom, do what, do what is expected. As long as you're doing what you have to do, you but know that where, you're on for three years, they can lower your probation time if you're doing everything that you that they're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, my main thing and is once I start working, he's doing, he's doing that. He's doing very good. All his reports are good. 
you know what? We're going to let him off early. You right. know, it, that's, how they, that's what they do. But, but if you is, pop out, you're not doing what you have to do, and you're yeah, not doing what they're going to do, they're going to be like, what? Fuck it, we're going to add more probation time on to it. No, nah, or just the diner. Lock, lock them up. Lock me up, yep. But what I'm saying, though, is I'm going I'm to play their little game, jump through their hoops. So, you know, once I get out and start working, I'm going to let them know, hey, I can't keep doing this calling every morning shit. Y'all want me to make my payments for child support. If I got a first shift job, how the fuck am I going to get there to do my piss test every day? Y'all going to have to ease right. that up to once a month. You know what I mean? Right. And then I can sit here and go to the probation officer and be like, look, man, ain't no job going to want to keep me. If I have to go fucking take a drug test for you guys three times a week, two times a week. I love you. I love you, too. I miss you, thank you. Miss you. You don't try flirting with you at the uh, dinner on Wednesday? No. I don't. I went with the lady next door, the grandma. So you guys went to I dinner together? Huh? The dinner together? Yeah. The grandma and uh, we took little Dwayne with us. And then I guess some little boy got dropped. I think her grandbaby, one of them, mm-hmm. got dropped off. So we went over there. So I was over there with the grandma. Lately, you know, Monday, Monday thing or whatever, we'll all just go over there together, me and the grandma. Well, I love you. You, you are my sanity, Miss Rodriguez. I'll tell you that. You and my kids are my strength. Just always remember that. You hear me? Mhm. I ain't gonna do shit to fuck up you getting out of here to my wife and kids. I won't be doing nothing to get in trouble to get out of to fuck up my chances of going home to my wife and kids. No, trust me, I'm not gonna let it. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I think my blood pressure might be up. Maybe that's why. That's because of me. You got excited to hear your husband's voice. You know, I like that feeling kind of shaky. Bro, sit down and relax. I am. I'm sitting on the little brown chair. Mwah. The kids woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and made them set the alarm clock early because they had to take out the garbage because we didn't do it last night. So Mar said, Mom, I'm going to set my alarm clock for 6. I got up about maybe 7. And she said, Mom, the garbage is already out. Mwah. But I told them that uh, they had to get the garbage from out the basement that we did the other day. Oh, my God. I got to go down there and reclaim that basement again. Guess what the little ones did. If they don't make myself harder, they took the strawberry jelly and just stomped on it and got jelly all on the floor down there. Well, I can't wait to go home and, and, and deal with all these headaches with you. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, sit down. I got this. <laughs> hey, the judge. You have one minute left. I love you, sexy. I'm gonna call you again later tonight. Okay. Yeah, love you. Do you want me to call you again? You know, at six o'clock, or do you just want me to wait until about nine, nine thirty? See. No, you can't do that up to me because you know me. I'll fucking call you four times a day, and then you ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, save us for later, then. Trust me. All right, sexy. I love you. You don't get mad when I chirp you, gorgeous? You promise? No. No problem. Me and you always forever? Me and you always forever. I love you, my sexy soul mate. I love you, too, my sexy soul mate. Give the baby a kiss for me and tell mom my daddy loves her and thanks her so much for being a big girl. Tell her she's my young lady now. Mm-hmm. No, I meant to tell you before the call hangs up. Um, they she got picked for thank you for you.